going to receive our furniture for the bright area so I'm really really excited I also got a couple of new things for the kitchen so I thought I would show you that I got these porcelain plates from Woolies and then I also got um, more like forks and knives and cake forks and dessert spoons because we don't have enough when we have people over so i'm gonna pop these into the dishwasher and um yeah then we're we're gonna accept our delivery for our brand new furniture excited literally couldn't have come at a better time we're literally so obsessed with it not exactly the color that we thought we would get but literally when Bren and I saw it we both were like we really really like this so yeah I'm just so excited and I'm also really excited because I thought we could make dessert together I made creme brulee for the first time my favorite dessert by the way I made it for the first time the other day and it was a success so I thought I would kind of make it with you today so creme brulee is basically egg yolks cream vanilla and sugar that's basically it's it's so easy I think the most difficult part is you know the process of doing it and how you do it like you have to follow the steps so I think the first step I'm gonna separate the eggs into a bowl so I'm not taking the exact amount of sugar that the recipe says I've made this before and I feel like it needs a little bit less so I'm just going on my sweet preference and then um, I'm just whisking that together and then I'm gonna heat the, the cream on the stove of vanilla paste and then a real vanilla pot and then I'm going to take the seeds out inside and then put it into the cream and then the trick is to take one ladle at a time and slowly in one consistent stream like whisk it into the egg yolks so to cook them or to bake them we use a little technique or for a creme brulee you use a technique called bain marie which is essentially like a little water bath so I'm just gonna pour I think about two thirds water and then just pop it into the oven 
the creme brulee was amazing if i have to say so myself but hello it is a new day and i'm actually just getting ready for um like a campaign which i'm gonna be honest with you i'm sitting in my dressing room by the way it's a bit of a mess but um yeah hopefully we can organize and decorate and just like get it together in the next couple of vlogs but i'm sitting down and i just kind of try to do my hair with the um dyson air wrap if you have tiktok and you're a girl especially <laughs> that likes hair talk i'm pretty sure that this little device it comes in this color it's they now have like a navy one and like a black one as well which just my luck um when i decide to buy it like the pink because this is what it looks like on the inside it's like gray and pink they decide to bring out like a pretty like copper and it's like copper and navy and like this color but anyways i bought it i actually bought mine in turkey and i have it like monogrammed um and i've had it for a while i've had it for a few months and i love it but i also hate it i'm gonna be 100 percent honest i love the brand and I'm, i want to love it like i want to love it so badly i actually filmed like a first impressions on the dyson air app and i ended up deleting the footage because it was like a first impressions so i used it for the first time and i had like high hopes because this was expensive like i will link it down below but it's expensive like it's a really expensive hair like device but you do get like a hair dryer you get like all of the air wrap attachments i have the longer version because i have long hair um like the thicker one the thinner one comes with like a blow dryer and like two of these like flattening brush so you do get quite a bit if i feel like if you get the hang of it and it works with your hair i've seen so many mixed reviews on the dyson air apps people love it and people hate it and i feel like i'm in between i really want to love it um so i'm gonna try and just master it and just get it down i actually have a um campaign that i'm filming but it's like a live campaign filming it's kind of weird i spoke about youtube in, in like a few seconds ago but um basically i got an email from a company that they want to do like a youtube campaign by the way i'm gonna talk to you i'm gonna talk to you as i kind of prep my hair so i did um like some of it and i thought i would keep these to do with you because this took me quite a while <laughs> like i said i just really want to like the dyson arab but i'm a little bit disappointed and yeah i i don't know it's so difficult because when i filmed that first impressions um i didn't really want to post it because i was so disappointed and i didn't want to like bash the brand because i love the brand and just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for someone else maybe i'm just using it wrong um and i saw a couple of videos on tiktok that the cool shot is very important that you have to keep it on for like 10 mississippis so miss one mississippi two misses so like 30 seconds basically um i'm like jumping between my stories but anyways my hair is like kind of damp um so i'm gonna do like two sections um on each side with you so yeah i got an email from um a company for like a youtube campaign and as i responded i was like i had like a meeting with them and they were like if it's a youtube campaign i was like yes but what what am i <laughs> i was so confused and i was like what am i who is the brand and they were like it's for youtube and i was like what what are you actually kidding me it's for youtube so it's for the youtube creators page i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but anyway we're gonna film um like an interview so i have like my questions 
um, that they've sent me beforehand so that I just know what they can ask, so that I can kind of think of an answer. So that is in one hour. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do my hair with you and then um, I can show you maybe some behind the scenes. It, it'll be the first sit down video that I'm filming in this new house. So we'll get to that in just a bit. Let's just first like attempt. <laughs> so as I said, I did like 80% of my head and I my hair is like cool to the touch. So it's not damp, but it's not dry. So I put it on the full heat full blast so i'm gonna do it for a little bit and then i'll do the cool shot i'm not gonna cut this bit so that you can see how long i'm holding it my eyes are a bit sensitive this is the first time that I'm wearing makeup after my LASIK surgery. My eyes are a bit sensitive to the wind. Okay, I'm on a cool shot now. So I'm basically doing it until I feel that it's like completely Cool. I'm not even counting. <laughs> okay. So, this is what I mean by I love it and I hate it. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. But in 0.5 seconds, this will drop out. <laughs> I remember the first time I filmed my first impressions. I think I'm going to leave this one and then we can kind of see what it does. But I remember when I filmed my first impression, I started at the bottom and I did the first piece. By the time I did like the fourth or fifth piece, the first piece I did was straight again. Oh, so yeah, I'm really hopeful. Oh, and by the way, I used the Olaplex bonding oil. I got this on Take A Lot. Also heard great things about it on TikTok. I'm like almost halfway with it. Love it. Okay, so let's do the side. So I'm going to pin it. I'm going to show you how I pinned the rest. I just take it out like that. And then instead of pinning it, if you pin it, these pieces will sometimes like fall out. So I'm going to twist it and then pin it so that it stays there and that the shape stays. So I'm going to do the this one. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so I'm going to do the top two pieces. You had me at a low. Because where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride all the blue. So this is the outfit. 
I have like a cute dress and then just like comfy pants but see what I mean with this call sorry if the air con is like blowing on you but look at that it's literally been like a few minutes it's not that bad but it's not great I'm gonna take these out and see how they hold and then I'll like update you through the evening but I think I need to get ready, get my setup going for this interview slash campaign. <laughs> Ooh. that piece of advice that it's gonna be unique and it's gonna be like very you but that's gonna help uh, all these new creators um, to just like decide to become creators or just like uh, give them tools to grow their channels yeah that's okay it. so let me show you the setup first and then we can continue so That was so much fun. But my eyes and this LASIK eye surgery, I need to go rest my eyes now. Oh. Hello, I'm greeting you from probably the messiest room in the entire house. This is so unlike me, like this is not in my nature <laughs> for a room to look like this, but okay, I've been trying to like organize, so I thought we could just like do it together. So I'm arresting you on the enemy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm arresting you on the Dyson hair wrap box. And I guess we're back onto the hair talk. Like I said, excuse the mess, we're gonna get organized together. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just like touch on my hair a little bit because I was kind of rushed um, And this morning I just had to do something to my hair because you saw what my hair looked like and I couldn't I just I couldn't let it be like that Especially on a day when I'm like shooting content. So I literally just did like the quickest flick I just ran the straightener through my hair and just did like the quickest little blowout flick i used the ghd platinum plus this one was actually gifted to me by ghd it has my name on it i got this with the um glamorous most glamorous award that i won alongside bonang michelle gina myers oh, so many glamorous women um it was back in 2019 so it's a very like special gift but i've always wanted the air wrap and that's why i got it and even though i feel like i'm a bit disappointed i probably i'm gonna put my hair up because we're gonna get organized i probably um wouldn't like sell it or like get rid of it because number one it has my initials on it i had it hot stamped and it was a purchase that shantae and i got together like it was like a cc bff together purchase like she got one for her and then i got one for me and we both got our initials on it so it has like a lot of special memories and every time i use it i think of turkey and it just like takes me back so besides loving the brand i mean i have a dyson vacuum which also cost a lot of money <laughs> and i love it i would highly recommend it literally use it every single day um but i feel like that's exactly what this is it's an everyday kind of device and i wish that the curls would have lasted a bit longer i mean i wash my hair once a week so i don't necessarily want to 
like do my hair every single day so maybe if you wash your hair every day or every second day maybe this will work for you um i'm still gonna find a way to try and make it work i love the hair dryer i love the blowout tool love the straightening tool and overall it's it's a really good like hair dryer device because obviously it doesn't use like actual heat plates um it blows hot air but i just the curls just don't last on my hair so if you have any tips any suggestions any like anything please leave them in the comments and um i feel like this would be the perfect opportunity to unbox not unbox unpack all of my hair tools that i packed away before we moved um but i kind of think they're at the bottom of the box pile <laughs> so in here um i actually have like i think those are bags i have some fashion items and then i've been trying to like put my glasses away but this is what's annoying me so we're gonna do like this little section in this vlog we can do it together and like get organized together Ooh. i have one more perfume over here what we do is what we do i can take you anywhere somewhere we won't be scared okay nice and clean the drawers are a bit damaged um which I think I'm going to get something else in this room anyways. Or just like have this resprayed or like put a different top on it or something like that. I will figure it out later. Um, I brought my perfume that I wear every single day lately. That I've been wearing every single day lately. This is the Elisab La Parfum Lumiere. And this is what it looks like oh it's so beautiful just like the other one i have like the classic elisa la parfum um but this one has like a bit of a yellow gold tint to it but has that same like diamond cut glass design it's just so pretty this also just looks so nice on your vanity the smell of this is just all of the Elisa perfumes to me smell quite like within the same family, but they're all unique in their own way. Like this one, similar to the classic, but it has a bit more of light to it. And when I mean light, I mean like sunset and sunrise. So a bit more of like a warmer just something oh it's just so nice so it has like that classic like white flower floral scent with like the muskiness the woodiness um slight citriness citrusiness the perfect balance of fragrance for me personally um but this one has like that that little extra something so this has been like my everyday perfume and then i'm gonna like take all of my perfumes out i have this bag full of like little samples so i want to do because i love these when i travel even just like these little um like samples that you get for free when you go to the shops to like test it so it's the testers i like to travel with those or like keep it in my bag and then i have another big bag and a box this one says perfumes or one of two boxes and i packed this quite a while ago so i don't know if i can't find the other box maybe this is the second one that i was supposed to because this is what i didn't pack um i just kept this in a drawer like perfumes that i wanted to like use still just a few and then i obviously got a few more as we were waiting to move but yeah i'm gonna unpack all of these clean them off a bit and then i can show you what i have
can't be all of my perfumes like i feel like i had way more so there must be like one box somewhere but anyways i'm gonna just get started i kind of just divided them these are more like home fragrances so i'm gonna put that like in the candle cupboard i can also show you that quickly and then um these are like diffuser refills and then some fragrances that i've had for a really long time um that i don't necessarily like i like the fragrance i love the fragrance and i think i can use them like around the house and still like use them on myself i can like spray them on myself and then on the pillows and like on the linen and towels and everything and then i just have like a few i took all of those samples out of the little cardboards and then i also have like a few joe malone ones um slightly bigger like travel size sample ones how pretty is this one my goodness i never even saw this like i obviously got some of these things like in pr deliveries and gifts from brands this was one of them and it's so so pretty love that okay and then yeah like these are the ones that i love like i found the other elisab one and look what i have this is actually for one of you leafies i um actually completely forgot about this and then as i was like un unpacking my things i forgot that i got two of these when i got the um the Elisab Lumiere and a full size one as well, like the big one. This is the other one, like slightly smaller. I think it's um, 90 mils, and then this one is, I think, like 50. Yeah, so you're getting a 90 ml fragrance. And as always, to enter, it's really simple, just leave me some love on this video on the content that i did for elisa it really really like supports the campaigns that i do and i love like spoiling Lily bees with a little giveaway when i work with a brand so i'm really really excited to like have one of you have like the best smelling 2022 although i think that a size perfume this big will last you way longer i struggle to like finish a perfume um because i switch through so many perfumes but let me tell you this one this one took a knock it took a big knock and um like even this one. <laughs> it's because i love it so much i literally use it like ah uh, so much but yeah all of my perfumes are like you know this one is pretty used because i kept this out when we were moving like i didn't pack it away this one um this one i can't see but i think it's pretty empty so yeah i will um leave a link to my elisa content in the comments and also the description box so just leave some love and then i'll pick a leafy um very soon i'm gonna put this like on my table so that it reminds me to pick a winner but yeah i'm gonna wipe all of these down and then i think pack it in one of the drawers just to get started on some organizing